Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my little corner of the uh, the neighborhood, the community. <laughs> and if you're an OG, welcome back. Happy Monday, guys. It is Monday when I'm uploading this video. I should have uploaded it yesterday, but you know, you know how that goes. Um, so yeah, this is another speed build episode. I did say that I was not going to do this again, but somehow I was tagged by a certain simmer. Uh, thank you at Soft Pastel Games. If you guys are familiar with her, she will be linked in the description box or in the i card so you can get to know her uh she's also on twitter so follow her there uh she created this um this shell build challenge and the rules behind the game the game the rules behind the build were that it had to be a community lot and you could not change the um the the building yes the integrity of the building yes that is the word i'm looking for so i did cheat a little bit um i i failed at this particular challenge because i did actually change some of the build in itself because the idea that i finally came up with wasn't working with the shape of the building or at least the back of it so i did change a little bit sorry sorry tiff um yes so i am doing this challenge as well as Keo Sims and I do believe Soft Pastel uh, will have this on her channel. Again, uh, I will link Soft's um, channel in the iCards as well as Keo Sims. I don't think Keo has this on her channel. I'm pretty sure she doesn't, but there's nothing wrong with you stopping by. You know, let's give everybody a shout out, shall we? All right, so the idea that I had behind this build was that I was going to do a hotel because at this point in time, there was rumors of the Island Living expansion being released. And so I had the amazing idea that I was going to make get a jump start and create a hotel. But um, well, with the hopes that we would have the um, the hotel um, gameplay that we did in The Sims 3, and we all know by now that uh, this expansion pack does not have that um, the gameplay that you can run your own hotel. Sadly, but you know it is what it is. You know we're gonna work with what we have, and of course our girl uh, Kiwani, Kiwani girl. Kawaii Stacy, Kiwani, Kawaii Stacy is, um, she's working in a mod. So, uh, thank you, girl. She's a life saver. I'm telling you, the goat. So, um, I went back and forth because once I found, uh, once I found out that we were getting Island Living, um, I wanted to make this into again a hotel but i didn't want to just go with a hotel a hotel i wanted this to be a multi-use um lot so in case you didn't want to play this as a hotel in case you wanted to use it as something else and because this was supposed to be a commercial building i decided to to utilize um some of the get to work uh pack and um uh, dine out, dine out. Yeah. I eventually did use dine out. Um, and I believe that was it. Now I will say I did use, use quite a few packs in this particular build. Now a little bit of backstory on this hotel. This is called the three sisters. And the idea behind it was that, um, Windenburg was in kind of disarray for a long time um, and the the mayor of the town decided that he wanted to renovate the downtown area as you can see the difference between the um, the the residential area versus the downtown they're a little more modern up to date so this was a paper factory called the three sisters and it had been closed down uh, for quite a while and had been kind of sitting there rotting um so it still had good 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 bones and um so a local resident uh, who was a businessman decided that he wanted to buy the building instead of it being torn down because it, it was had a lot of history um so he opened it up to um, the residents who were business owners or who wanted to be business owners and um, he's you know he's like I've got space for you to rent 
um, and I wanted to make this into a hotel, but I definitely have uh, spaces for people to open up, you know, a business. So it sat desolate for quite a while because no one was able to um, afford the leasing space. But eventually he decided to go outside of Windenburg and seek other business owners. And it just so happened that there was a couple from Sulani that uh, wanted to leave the island because the island was just too small for them. Not because, um, you know, they were um, city people, but because you know, the husband could find any work and uh, they needed to be able to support themselves and hopefully a family. Um, so they did, they, the wife was an amazing cook um, and she's always wanted to have her own little restaurant. Her husband was always encouraging her to do so. Um, but they saw this ad and they were like, they had high hopes, but they really didn't have any money to start. Um, so the business owner, um, he got in contact with them and uh, he flew down to Solani and you know what? He tried their food, tried um, the woman's food and he found out that it was amazing. So he was like, this would be perfect. Great addition to my hotel. It would bring business. Um, this is an amalgamation of um, Spanish and um, Polynesian food cu cuisine because the husband is, um, he speaks Spanish. He is from the Hispanic culture and, or the Spanish culture. And she is of the Polynesian diaspora. So she, uh, so they traveled to Windenburg and he, the businessman footed the bill and he, um, allowed them to, or he actually renovated the, the penthouse suite for them to open the restaurant. And he allowed them to, uh, at least the area for free for a few months because he knew that he, if he invested in them, they would make him a good profit and they can always pay the lease back or the, you know, the free rent back. Um, and it turned out amazing for him. The, the hotel flourish. Uh, this is one of the most popular restaurants in the, um, in Windenburg. Now they, um, have the restaurant upstairs and it's named after the, the hotel, the three sisters, because if you guys know, or are familiar with Polynesian culture, I, I, I believe there is a story or of, um, a mountain or, uh, like a group of mountains called the three sisters. I don't remember the actual story behind it, but it's very, very familiar to me in that regard. Like, Oh, I remember this story. Um, uh, I remember hearing the story. So I wanted to add that in there. So you'll also see that I have a little souvenir shop and I used, um, most of the items from the Island Living expansion pack and in the restaurant, I did incorporate the um, Jungle Adventure and the Island Living um, build by. So um, it would show the amalgamation of, or the, the fusion of the two cultural foods. Too bad we don't have any like new recipes or new dishes. I mean, am I the only one that missed out? I don't know, because I looked and I didn't see anything, didn't see anything new. And it would be great if they did add um, some more uh, Spanish dishes, um, even like Boricua food or Puerto Rican food or uh, platanos, things like that. I would love to see some more recipes in the game because those um it makes them the menus a little more interesting um especially when you're building restaurants and things like that or if you you're taking your sims to eat you know what i mean so yeah um i did use quite a bit of artwork from the gallery and you guys i'm so sorry i don't have the names of the people um that i borrowed from but i will make sure that i list them in the description box below so you can see them or at least visit their pages because you guys there are some really talented people on the gallery who um add artwork for those of you who don't like to use uh, cc wall art like i do 
All right, so um, this build is completely CC free. Now it will notate on the gallery that it's not because I, I use script mods to help me with mirrors and things like that to make it a little more movable and to um, add some additional spaces on countertops, surfaces and things like that. But there's no CC in this build absolutely CC free and remember to use BB move objects before you place this build. Okay. So that's the background on this hotel slash restaurant slash. Well, uh, there's, you can use this build, not just for restaurants. If you want to use it as a cafe, there is a coffee shop. If you want to use it as strictly retail, uh, you can utilize the, the, uh, art gallery or the souvenir shop, whatever you choose to do. Again, this is located in Windenburg, but I still wanted to give it that island feeling, man. Okay. <laughs> that was a terrible impression. I just offended probably every single Caribbean. Uh, those in my family and outside of my family, I do apologize for my bad impressions, but I can't help myself. I can't. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much uh, all I'm going to tell you about the, the build, I guess. Uh, I mean, you can enjoy. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I just snorted. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, you can enjoy the rest of the build if you like. Uh, I'm going to let the, the video play out um, and leave you with that. But before I leave, uh, if you're not a member of the family, I would appreciate it if you decide to subscribe because we're always looking for more uh, family members because here we believe in Ohana, which is family in Polynesian. Um, you know, we're, we're a, a ragtag group of people and, uh, you know, uh, we're always welcoming new peeps so uh do just do subscribe i'd appreciate it yeah and while you're down there hit the bell so you know every time i upload because i upload thrice weekly all right until next time guys ciao Thank you.